are you today? Um, so basically, I just thought it's 30 odd days now till I go. So like one month. <laughs> Exciting, very nervous. Um, I go from being really excited to all of a sudden go, oh my God, it's happening. But then kind of not believing that it's going to happen. Um, so who knows? So basically, I just want to show you kind of, I guess the, I've got a little folder that I've kind of put together, you know, just to keep everything together. Um, can't show you the folder because it's got all my work details all over it. But, you know, give you something to take to Thailand. Keep everything together. So basically, I've printed off all those questions that I read out, I think, last video. Um, and it says, when can we drink alcohol is one that I've added just for curiosity's sake, and maybe the day before I leave Thailand, I can have a few bevies or two, or five, or seven, 12. No, not a big drinker anyway. Um, flight itineraries, just to make sure. I'm fine with Jetstar. Don't think they're that great an airline as far as like comfort or whatever, but it's only five hours um, to Singapore and then another two hours after that. I'm sure I can cope with that. And I'm fly flying through the night, so hopefully I can sleep. Um, and then also I printed off all my booking.com and, and accommodation, any accommodation I've, I've printed off, just because when I get there, I want to make sure, and when they go, if they, you know, if there is any problem, I can go, look, here's the details, I booked, I booked through booking.com, yada, 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 and there's one place I've booked privately, and I've printed off their emails. Um, the other thing, da, 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 I've printed off are pictures to show the wonderful Dr. Nair. So I'll show you my pictures. The first one's my favourite. So I just printed them off just for, for an idea of what's realistic, what's not. This is actually a girl from a website that I know, and she's very lovely. She let me steal her photo. And... Dun, 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 that goes that way. So I printed them off for the surgeon to show him what pictures I would like. So I'll keep that together with the thing. Um, another thing that came... I got an email from Cosmetic Tours. Um, just, just final confirmation, this is your name, this is your yada 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 yada, just like ticking all the boxes and it had all ticks and stuff I can actually show you. So I just had all my details, fold that down, because that's my name and address. It just gives you all those bits and pieces, I don't know if you can read it, it looks backwards. Um, Basically, it just says I've signed and understood all the terms and conditions. I have copies of my flight schedule, um, procedure costs invoiced, which I've actually got another email, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, I acknowledge and understand that I must follow the final treatment plan, which is the email I'll talk about in a minute. Um, I understand any extra tests will be at my own cost. Um, and I've heard of girls having to get extra tests done because of blow iron or whatever, and it's cost me about 58, 50 Australian dollars which I'd rather have the extra tests and make sure everything's okay instead of going ahead and, I don't know, bleeding to death. Um, I must present accommodation voucher. If you book through Cosmetic Tour and you get your accommodation through them, you can get an, get an accommodation voucher because they cover your accommodation. I've booked mine separately, hence the booking.com. Um, got to bring Cosmetic Tour travel folio. So they sent me this email and it had obviously all this, this tick off list and it sent me a PIAC treatment plan. And it also had a confirmation for my email address because they're going to send me my cosmetic tour portfolio, which is the one I take over. I think that has all the information on it, which I think by the look of things, I already have all the information anyway. But, you know, it's still exciting. Everything's exciting. I've got to be excited so I'm not scared or nervous. Um, so I have... Dun -dun -dun. This is the PIAC Treatment Plan and Surgical Services. Um, it just said, oh, concierge services. Mm, there we go. Fancy. So there's my doctor, the girl who's looking after me at PIAC, so she's my coordinator there. So I guess um, any problems, I talk to her when I get there. I guess that's who Cosmetic Tour has been talking to, I presume. Um, just says appointment is 27th of March 2015 at 10 a.m is my appointment with Dr. Narapin. Um, the estimated price, 115 to 160,000 repair, which 115 is about 4,800 4, I've paid already. Um, and the extra, 
is if I choose to go teardrop, it's an extra $1,000. If I choose to go over 500 cc, it's $179. And if I choose to go dual plan, I think it's another $500 for that. Approximately AUD. Um, and the other thing this has is my transport and concierge services. So it says on the 25th of March, I'm going to be picked up from Phuket Airport. Yay! Uh, and taken to my resort. And I'm also on the 27th at 9.30 a.m. They're going to pick me up at the Pacific Club Resort again um, and take me to the hospital. So, and then my appointment's at 10 o'clock with Dr. Narapin. So that's exciting. Um, it has a lot of things like, well, not a lot, but just, just things about the estimated price, terms and conditions, payment in full, entire bark currency. Um, children under 16 years of age are not allowed in the PIAC premises. Now that has kind of bothered me a little bit because that means my children aren't allowed to visit me. So I posted on the, there's a, there's a, actually there's a new forum that I was invited to by PIAC. So there's a forum and plastic surgery forum Phuket, I think it is. And so I got, I got an email because I was going through them. They added me and I asked on there, um, had anyone had their their kids come and visit them and one lady said yes I had my seven year old visit I never had any problems another person said they wouldn't let my two year old visit so I'm hoping I can just take them in and if I can I can if I can't I can't I guess uh, another thing I'm thinking of doing I'm not sure if I told you was going to smile and getting my teeth whitened um, I've always hated my big gums but <laughs> oh smiley gums hey dad but they're, they're not too bad um, I I used to smoke, I quit smoking about four or five years ago and I stopped drinking coffee and tea a fair bit. So I thought I would, um, now would be the time to have sparkly white teeth again and <laughs> anyway, <laughs> looking at my teeth. Um, not allowed to eat or drink eight hours prior to your surgery. I'm very rambly tonight, I know, I've had a long day. Clients must stop taking. So this I've heard is very, very important. Don't take aspirin or any other anti-inflammatory medications like Nurofen, Ibuprofen, Brufen, Advil, uh, Sleep, I don't even know what they are, Voltaren, Naproxen, Mobic, and any other counter pain relievers. I should also stop taking multivitamins, vitamin E, fish oil tablets, omega-3, ginseng, ginkgo, even rose oil. Clients should be aware, surgery may be delayed or even cancelled if these medications have been taken within two weeks of your surgery date. So if you take multivitamins within two weeks, I think they do something in your body. When they take your blood, they will know and you will be in trouble and they will not do your surgery. Um, must be informed of any other medications. So if you do have anything, you know, anything from antidepressants to whatever diabetes medication, um, you really do need to let them know. Can't just wing it and go, oh, they may not do the surgery. They're going to find out anyway. You may as well be honest. For minor headaches, aches, pains and fever, you're allowed to take paracetamol, Panadol or Tylenol and that is it. Um, PIA concierge will wait at the designated meeting place for one hour. Um, PIAC provides complimentary transfers, however we will not be liable for providing refunds in cases of delayed or missed flights. What else have we got? If you're arriving by plane, I have the details booked, the airport has two arrivals, da 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 da. And there is a map of PIAC, so it shows exactly where we need to go. I'm sure someone will usher me in the right direction if I go, need boobs, which way? Someone will go that way. So I'll know. Um, what else have I printed? Things to do in Phuket. Oh, this was fun to do. I did up a big list of things to do, and I found it a lot of fun. Places I've heard are good to eat. I've got those. Um, things to do in Phuket with all the prices and everything, because... Well, I'm a mum and I like to budget. Um, you know, fantasy and Kamala, Simon Cabaret show, upside down house, cooking classes, Thai boxing, soy dog foundation, lots of things I can do after surgery. There's only one that I have to do before surgery and that's at the Splash Jungle Water Park because or else I can't go swimming. And so I'm going to do that on the day after I land. Oh, it's pretty late, it's about 10 o'clock. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, all my bits and bobs and the the classes and I've got a map for this and that and all the rest. 
So yeah, now I'm just waiting for my uh, folio from Cosmetitours. And that's it, that's the last stages. The next stage, I guess, is getting on that plane and not crying. I will be a nervous wreck, I think. It's gonna be really embarrassing. I get really nervous, I suffer anxiety really bad and I don't take medication for it. I just, I go exercise and I try and eat well and that's how I deal with it. So I'm hoping this doesn't, I don't know, push me over the edge. If anyone else has anxiety and has been through surgery, let me know how you went because I do get a little bit panicky. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So there we go, there's another 10 minute ramble for you. Talk to you later, bye.